<sighs> okay. Getting close to finishing up here. We got a couple more topics. Um, mail, uh, security using encryption, and uh, internet security using encryption. Um, so I'm, I'm going to talk about mail uh, today. Um, but in a sense... Okay. Um, uh, in, in a sense, we've got um, an opportunity here to sort of have a... Um, well, not exactly a cheat sheet for cryptography, but a, more of a check sheet. Um, I will try and remember to put this into the comments. Um, I've got this little diagram, very terse, um, deliberately so. Basically, um, if you understand what's going on in the diagram um, and can figure it out, then you understand uh, all the different parts, uses of cryptography, what we use, the different types of cryptography for, um, and to a certain extent, how we're using them. It doesn't go into all the issues of, uh, for example, public key infrastructure and, and the management and training that goes into it, but um, it, you know, again, look at the diagram. Um, if, you, if you understand it, you understand cryptography if you can't understand certain parts of it that directs you where you need to go back and uh, study those areas of uh, cryptography so um, email security uh, using encryption to uh, make sure that we uh, are doing okay with regard to uh, email and, and the various security issues with regard to email. Now, um, in, in no particular order, um, we've got message origin authentication. We have received this message supposedly from, you know, Rob, whoever, and, you know, like they say, on the internet, nobody knows that you're a dog. Um, we, we need some kind of authentication uh, that this comes from who uh, it says it does. And of course we do that with, you know, say digital signatures, just in terms of this is the origin of the message. This is the person who sent that. Um, so, uh, there is also, again with, you know, digital signatures and um, content integrity. So, this message has not been altered since it was sent by the person that we have now authenticated did in fact send this message um, content confidentiality uh, again probably here we are doing um, symmetric encryption to encrypt the message but the message body the content of the message but we are uh, uh, probably uh, using Asymmetric encryption to exchange the key for that session, uh, for that uh, content co uh, confidentiality. So, um, we've got uh, proof of delivery. Um, you know, th there are uh, uh, receipt requests uh, and that sort of thing, and, and, you know, we can tie that into again digital signatures so somebody can't say no i didn't receive it you know we uh you know build a uh receipt into uh the email system and say well yes you did you know you had to uh use your uh your private key to unlock this message so we know that it was you that unlocked the message and and uh uh, you know, we, you have now generated a receipt, uh, or the system has, uh, so it was your key that was used to access that. We know that you got the, uh, the message. It was delivered to you. You have read it. Um, message sequence integrity. Again, uh, you know, it, it can be uh, 
a major issue. You know, what is the uh, the sequence of messages, uh, multi-part messages? Um, probably not as much anymore, but, you know, there, there are issues of um, ongoing communication and, and, you know, has everybody received all of the parts and have they received them in sequence? Um, uh, Non-repudiation of origin. Again, you know, we've authenticated this person. Uh, they cannot, you know, say, no, I didn't send that message. Um, Non-repudiation of delivery. Again, the, the return receipt. Um, protected by encryption, by digital signatures. Uh, message security labeling. Um, so we've got uh, information of certain sensitivity, and so it cannot be opened on a lower security system. I know um, that uh, uh, my bank, for example, um, they use and, and have regular uh, email addresses, but when they... <laughs> rather inconveniently sometimes, but again, you know, like I say, uh, convenience is the enemy of security quite often. Um, anyways, they uh, will decide, uh, you know, no, we won't send you this information by regular email. You can only have it on our secure message system. And then I have to go into uh, signing on to the account with them in order to get that message. Um, so the uh, security labeling there, the, the level uh, of sensitivity. Um, message flow confidentiality. And again, um, when we get into uh, telecommunications and networking, we'll look into uh, onion routing, for example. Um, a way to disguise uh, not just uh, the content of the messages, although it does that too, but um, also disguising who the traffic is for who is communicating with whom, um, and and so again we've got uh, issues there, um, and of course uh, secure access management, the signing on, um, getting access to various systems, and we can do that with secured email systems. Um, I mean, we tend to do it most often in terms of out of band situations. Um, uh, sending texts and, and that sort of thing. But again, those are not, you know, f fully protected necessarily. Um, and we could do it in band, uh, again, using encryption in proper ways to support uh, secure access management uh, over the same channel, um, having the various protocols there to support that.